south, uh, south of the coastline, the coastline is up here, um, are ADSB equipped and they're just operating on their own. Traditionally, we wouldn't see these aircraft at all. So being able to see them is going to uh, provide them with a quicker service um, in that we can uh, separate them from each other a lot quicker and they don't have to delay on the rig waiting for a clearance off or to get in. Um, and then high altitude. aircraft in the Gulf of Mexico traditionally are provided radar service midway through the airspace when they're heading southbound to Merida or Monterey. Um, once we lose radar on them, we have to have an expanded level of separation because of uh, how far they are from um, land and uh, communication services. So the separation standards are huge compared to what you experience when you're crossing over, uh, crossing over the continuous uh, United States. So we normally have five miles separation with radar, um, and domestically, if they're non-radar, there's uh, 10 minutes or 20 miles. But in the Gulf of Mexico, we have to have um, up to 80 miles separation between aircraft at the same altitude. So the um, implementation of ADSB in the Gulf of Mexico, once the air carriers start to equip, will be um, they'll experience a tremendous savings um, in their fuel because more aircraft will be able to fly at the optimum altitudes than are currently able to today at the same time. And since, uh, um, since we have uh, pushes that come through um, with aircraft going northbound or southbound, we have to separate all those aircraft uh, via altitudes. Um, whereas once, once we have radar on them, then they'll, they could all theoretically fly at the same altitude if they wanted to. So, um, so today, half of it is non-radar. It's inefficient. They're, they're only in non-radar portion of the airspace for probably about 100 miles or so before Merida picks them up or Mexico uh, picks them up. And um, so with the implementation of ADSB, we will have uh, a more modernized service in the Gulf of Mexico. So, uh, and,